IGN has issued an apology to the Shift Up Corporation after the outlet wrote up a preview for Stellar Blade and criticized the design of the game's main character, Eve, calling her a sexualized doll. Not only did they criticize the game's main character, but they also criticized the individuals designing her, claiming they were designed by someone you would think has never seen a woman. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at The Trent Report. I wrote this up over at That Park Place. And as I just noted, IGN has indeed issued an apology. But before we get to the apology, let's just kind of go over exactly what IGN France published in their Stellar, Stellar Blade preview on March 27th by Ben Osola. I think that's how you say, say his name. But this is what he wrote. He says, the design of the game, particularly its characters, highlights an obvious bias. We're going to smash the alien, but if we can do it while pleasing these gentlemen, that's a bonus. And the result is not really a success. It's not new. And other games have chosen to highlight the strengths of their female characters. But where a Bayonetta stands out with an iconic character design or a 2B from Nier Automata inspires an entire generation of cosplayers, Eve from Stellar Blade is just bland. A doll sexualized by someone you would think has never seen a woman. They then would issue an edit to update that last sentence. And they said this last sentence has been slightly edited for French speaking people pretending not to understand what we meant. And the English speaking mob who Google translated the initial text. Well, now IGN has issued a formal apology. And the article has also removed Osola's name crediting. Uh, they've removed his name from the article. It now credits Team IGN France as the, the uh, entity that has written the article. But this is what the apology says. It is posted on the above the game's preview article uh, where the initial um, comments were made. But the apology reads, Recently, IGN France produced and published a preview of Cellar Blade containing an offensive passage that should never have been kept. The text has now been edited, and here is our official apology to the Shift Up Corporation studio staff. Also, please note that IGN France is an independent branch of IGN, and that IGN's editorial staff had nothing to do with this incident. You're both IGN. I don't know why you're making a distinction there. It's a distinction without a difference. Uh, it reads then, the original text of the Stellar, Bl Stellar Blade preview contained comments that were out of place. While it was never our intention to disrespect Shift Up or any of its employees or their work, we recognize that the phrase taken in its literal sense was inappropriate and we regret it. Regre we regret it. I do not believe you. I do not believe you whatsoever. That is why you added the edit that was clearly approved by the editorial staff of IGN France. Uh, I do find it interesting that Osala's name is no longer on the article, probably because he disagreed with this apology, uh, meaning that he probably isn't actually the one apologizing because he's the one that actually wrote it. Nevertheless, they concluded saying, to anyone at Shift Up Corporation who felt personally targeted and insulted by this passage, we are truly sorry and sincerely apologize. So one wonders if Shift Up actually reached out to them and be like, what are you even talking about here? What's going on? Why are you uh, going after us? Uh, but IGN France's complaints, the initial complaints, never held water. Stellar Blade game director, I'm going to bu uh, butcher this guy's name, Huang Tae Kim, informed Push Square that Eve was based on model Shin Jae Un. He told the outlet, yes, we did base the character of Eve on the model Shin Jae Un. We thought that her body shape would be a good reference for the character that we were pursuing. But the face was created originally in-house. It's just the body of the model that we scanned for the game. He went on to explain why Shift Up chose Jae-un. Jae he said, of course, it depends on how you define beautiful bodies. But for us, we wanted to come up with the most attractive looking body for the user. So this is why we made the decision to work with her. And then on top of the character being a scan of model Shin Jae-un, Kim is also married to Shift Up Corporation's concept artist, Jun Che. So obviously... He's he's married. He's he's seen a woman. <laughs> um, uh, so utterly ridiculous complaints here. Uh, and then and the, the, the character is clearly uh, a body scan of this uh, Korean model. Uh, Shin Jae-un. But uh, what do you guys make of what IGN 
had to say here with their apology. Uh, I don't really feel like it's the 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 people that actually wrote this should be apologizing. Like Ben Osala should be the one apologizing. He's the one that wrote this, and it doesn't look like he actually is part of this apology, given the fact that they removed his name from the article. And I think this is just kind of a corporate apology uh, because they basically got called out by so many people and just how utterly ridiculous those comments were and utterly false uh, that they were uh, and easily, easily, easily uh, refuted. But let me know what you guys make of this. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, but to always speak the truth.